about that. So what should happen when I take my billiard ball and I set it down on the higher end? I'll roll right downhill, right? And that actually is exactly what happens. No mystery there. That is precisely what it's supposed to happen. Watch what happens to me when I stand over here on the lower end of this bench and then I walk all the way over to the higher end. What seems to happen to me? I get a lot shorter. And then when I actually walk down to the lower end, I gain all of that height back. Now people often think this is just a simple optical illusion caused by this slanted roof line here. So of course, I'll have to show you that that is not the case. Is anyone here about six feet tall, six feet even? Yeah? Come on up for me. I'm going to have you stand right over here on this side, watch your step, and you're going to face our lovely audience. All right, and then maybe scoot just a little bit because I'm going to use this whole bench here. Perfect. And now, is there someone who's about five foot ten? Five ten, five nine. Five nine, just about. Okay, I'm about 5'9 with shoes on, so I'm going to slide right over here. You said you're 5'7? All right, come on up. I'm going to have you stand right next to me here. All right, now I need someone who's about 5'5. Five five. All right, I'm going to stand right next to her. And now I need someone who's about 5'3. No, you're not. I don't believe you. 5'3, come on up. All right, let me see. That's about right. I don't know if you two know how tall you are. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll deal with it. The two on the end are just about the same height, but that'll work. So, what you can see I've created here is just about the AT&T Raising the Bar logo. <laughs> That's not why we're up here, though, okay? We need to block out this roof line theory. So here's how we're going to do that. The five of us up here are going to take our left hands, put it right in front of our left eyes like this. This is going to be so you're blocking out the roof line with that hand. When you all now turn and face the left, face the person in front of you. All right. Can you tell that the person in front of you is just a little bit taller than you? For you, it's the trees over there. So, yeah. All right. So now we're all going to turn around against that fence, or rather look at the fence. Put up your right hand to block out the roof line. Can you confirm that the person in front of you is just a little bit shorter than you? Yeah. All right. So now let's all face forward. So we can see those height differences for ourselves looking left and right without the help of that roof line at all. And you can very clearly see it too. We have an ascending order of height. So now, I need you on the end and you on the end to switch places for me. And then I'm going to switch places with you. And you just get to hang out in the middle. Easy job. Well now what do you notice about us all? <laughs> we're all just about the same height, right? Look left and right, we're all looking just about eye level all the way across this bench. Alright, so that means that the two of us walked over to the higher end, but we got shorter. And the two of you over there walked to the lower end, you can get taller, congratulations. Unfortunately though, I do have to crush your dreams over there. Because I need just the two of you on the end to switch places for you one more time. Alright, keep in mind, he's walking to the lower end of the bench. But you now tower over all of us. Do you know what this means? <laughs> Welcome to the NBA. <laughs> Excellent. All right, now, the last thing I need from you, or you four, rather, is a quick balance test. Okay, it's very easy. Don't worry. You're going to take your right hand and put it in the air. Now, take that arm, fold it in front of your stomach just like this. Now, do you see this strip of wood that's going across the cement here? What I need you to do is focus on that strip of wood. Really concentrate on it. And then you're going to bend towards it at the waist at a 90-degree angle. Kind of just fold over. Give him a big round of applause, everyone! A terrific bow. Thank you all so much. The last thing I want to talk about right in this area is actually one of my favorite parts of living in Santa Cruz. And those are the beautiful Santa Cruz trees. Now, eucalyptus trees are known for growing very tall and very straight, but many of them here in the mystery spot don't do that. So take a look behind me. Through the leaves there, that, that eucalyptus is kind of growing pretty abnormal. Now, this one's a little bit harder to see, but if you take a look behind you, just to the right of that very thick trunk eucalyptus, there's one that grows as kind of a backwards S. Now, if you've been here before, you also might have remembered that we had a really huge eucalyptus tree right over there. The roots were right at the base of the hill that we first climbed, or rather at the top of the hill that we just climbed. But this tree was so large and leaning over so far over the rest of the mystery spot that we got really concerned that it was going to fall. So we unfortunately had to cut it down just a few months ago. Now because that is such abnormal behavior for eucalyptus trees, we got a little bit worried. We thought there might have been something wrong with the soil in this area that was causing the trees to get sick. So 
We hired a team of botanists from UC Santa Cruz to come down and do some investigating to see what might have been wrong. And after they did some research, they found absolutely nothing wrong with our trees. They were all perfectly healthy. The weird thing that they did find, though, is that 95% of the trees in the mystery spot are female, which we think is the greatest mystery of all. Okay, clearly I'm barking up the wrong tree with this group. I think y'all just need to branch out your senses of humor. I'm just trying to spruce things up for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm stumping a few people over here, but some of you are pining for more. I know most of my jokes are rooted in bad puns. I think it stems from my childhood, so I'll leave you alone. Let's just lumber on down to our last demonstration. I really appreciate you sticking with me. Okay.